everyone, my name is Keely and I'm the owner and creator here at Soy and Shea and thank you so much for joining me for another Christmas soap making video. Today I'm going to take you along as I make frosted snowflakes. Now I'm going to be really honest, this did not turn out how I actually intended it to. I wanted the middle of this soap to look like there was a big snowflake right through the middle. However, the fragrance oil decided it didn't want to go along with that idea and instead I ended up with quite a, a pale looking snowflake snowflake um, in it. As it's cured it has actually become more defined in the soap and what it now reminds me of this soap is sitting inside a warm comfortable house somewhere in a cold country so when I grew up in England as a child at Christmas and looking out a window and seeing a snowflake just stuck to the window in its entirety but because snowflakes are quite see-through you kind of know that snowflake is there but it's not really defined if that makes sense i hope you can see how i'm actually envisaging this soap let me know down in the comments once you see the final cuts of it and if you want to see how well this one has actually developed come and have a look at it over on instagram but for now let's go and see how i have made frosted snowflakes let's go so today we've got the camera set up a fair bit higher, so I might sound a little bit different because the microphone is so much further away, but we are doing one of the pull through soaps in a much bigger PVC pipe than I was using last time. And that is because when I saw the um, this particular pull through shape, I had an idea for it, but I needed it to be the length for my actual um, soap mold. So I have now been down to Bunnings because everything is in the all clear and I have bought myself some PVC pipes. Hubby has cut them to size and I also bought the M6 um, the rods as well so we can make sure that they are the right height. I did buy that smaller set from off of Wicked Lee and I got it done in that really bright happy yellow. I asked her to surprise me with the end cap and the funnel colour and how gorgeous is that pink. Really really like that. So I have got all of that in there. I'm going to go and grab the oils and we're going to start putting this together and I think I might need my little step stool so I can see down into that hole there. Okay so I have got my oils and I have got my lye here. The fragrance oil I am using today is called Sparkling Snowflake and I got it in from Rustic Essentials. I was ordering my lip balm flavouring and I decided just to throw in a couple of bottles of fragrance oil as well because here in Australia we've just not been able to get any Christmas fragrances so I figured I would order them in from Rustic Essentials while I was doing the lip balm and I tell you what guys I was super super impressed not only did all of the fragrance oils I got in smell really really good I ordered them on a Thursday night they were shipped out what was the equivalent of my Friday morning and I got them on Tuesday the following week I was absolutely gobsmacked because that same Thursday evening I ordered something from WA Perth and I was still waiting for it on the Friday the following week and it actually didn't get to me until the Monday so I, I have no idea how something from America only takes four days to get to me and something from my same country took over seven business days to get to me it was, blows my mind every time but anyway this um, sparkling snowflakes that I am using it smells really good it's got notes of white musks fruity citrus raspberry bergamot jasmine and the two things that got me about this fragrance was peppermint and dark chocolate so um, it smells really good but it does say on the list there's no vanillin but there is slight ricing so that is why I am whisking my oils and lye water together. So that once I split them out for the colours, then I can actually do my stick blending. And hopefully it stays nice and fluid so we can get all this poured into the mould before it sets up. Alright, so I'm really happy with how that has come together so far. It wouldn't be enough to actually start pouring into the mold because it hasn't actually combined properly but it is enough for me to start splitting these out and I'm going to basically pour my colours and then pour in my fragrance then stick blend to hopefully give me the working time that I need. The colours I am using today I've got this was a free sample I got from um, Magic Mica and it's called Mother of Pearl. 
I am also using, this was Ocean Sparkle, so it's a nice dark blue, but it's a synthetic, so it's got lots of sparkly bits in it. This one is Cerulean Blue, and then this final one in here is Aqua Marine, and I'm just going to split my colours evenly between these four. So I think before I go too much further, we might try one and see whether or not this does rise. So I'm going to get this um, colour mixed in. We'll put in a little bit of that fragrance. If it doesn't rice, um, well, I'm still going to need to actually put the stick blender in here just to really make sure that my oils and lye are emulsified. But hopefully this will give me an idea on how um, well behaved this is going to be. Let's try. All right, so pour a bit in. All right, I don't seem to be getting any rising. So what I'm gonna do is stick blend all of my colors in, then I will hand stir the rest of that fragrance into them. because um, <laughs> that didn't... Oh, I give up. All right, so that was really weird. I got absolutely no rising in this. It is thickening up, so I'm going to have to start moving really, really quick. Um, but when I poured it into the blues, I did get the tiniest bit of ricing in here so I have had to actually stick blend that um, it is thickening so I'm pretty much now just going to put some music to this all I'm going to do is start pouring this into that mold alternating between the colors I'll grab some more spatulas because quite often when it starts to thicken up giving it a quick stir can actually start to break it back up again so I'm going to start pouring this into my mold hopefully we'll get what I want So this one is certainly going to be very interesting. This one does quicken, speed up trace. It actually is pulling out quite easily, which I'm surprised about because I thought it would be really hard to pull this one out. I did try putting some peppermint essential oil into it just to loosen it up. It didn't work, <laughs> but it does smell really good. Almost to the top. Oh, trying not to hit the camera and maybe it will work i think i'm gonna have a big hole straight through the middle of that because it's so thick oh well, well we'll see what happens i might just give it a little bit of a tap down because that should hopefully fill up that gap i've got in the middle all right so i have actually given that a bit of a knockdown just to try and make sure that um the soap falls back into where the the rod just came out because this has thickened up so much I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna have a hole in the middle of my snowflake if I do I'll I'll work something out just to fill it in but you know it could also add to the whole effect hopefully that dark blue is also going to come back rather than being that really horrible gray color I think that's why I've not used it for so long I kind of I bought it I used it a couple of times and have never really used it since and I think it is because I, they, I mean that was blue that, well one of those two were blue anyway I can't remember which one was was which but they, they now both actually look like they were the same champagne color oh, hopefully it will come back we'll have to wait and see that is about as much as I'm going to get into that mold I'm going to leave it sit here overnight and we're going to come back and we're going to unmold it in about 24 hours 
It's actually been two days since I poured this one because I have done markets in between and it is time now to unmold. So I'm just going to pop the cap off. I love how easily these caps come off the PVC pipes. Just going to push it and pull it on out like so. Nice and clean. And this is what I mean when I did the um, Enchanted Wood Soap. That is the first and only time I've ever had that much trouble getting a soap out of a PVC mold. They usually just come out so easily like this one. Let me get this one unwrapped. I don't think that dark blue came back in colour and we've got lots and lots of holes. But that's not too bad because the idea is I want this to look like a snowflake. So that's going to give it a little bit of texture around the edge of the, um, the embed here. I am hoping I don't have a massive hole all the way through, but we will find out. I am just going to trim the very bottom of this one off like so. Get rid of all that melt and pour because I don't want that in my main soap. I haven't got a hole in the bottom of this, but yet yeah, that dark blue definitely um, didn't change back. Sorry for all those that hate people seeing you use knives like that. Um, I know my husband would cringe if he was watching. I'm going to go and grab the mould. Okay, so we have got the mould here. And what I'm going to do is just line that up to the bottom of my mould. And then grab that knife. And just going to come in from underneath. I'm putting it right against the edge of the mould. And then just pushing it up into that embed. So I know where to cut this one. So I'm going to cut straight down that bit there like so okay so I'm not sure if I'm going to get that sort of snowflake effect that I am after out of this one I do think that this soap actually set up way too quickly to have got any nice pull through patterns might be surprised as we go down through it but at least I don't have a hole in the middle so that's a really good thing what I'm going to do is go and grab the oils and the lye water I'm then just going to actually make this into a plain white base for my soap and I'm going to add in some blizzard mica to get some shine and then I have some little snowflakes to go onto the top just to decorate it So there it is, there is our sparkling snowflake. So I'm gonna leave it sit here overnight and then we're gonna come back and we will cut it into its bars and see if we have got any sort of resemblance of a snowflake in med. Okay, we are now ready to cut into sparkling snowflake and it definitely does sparkle on the top. Very keen to see what this one is going to look like on the inside. Pretty sure I'm going to cut this one so I actually only end up with 16 bars because I want to cut the ends off these as well. So let's line that one up first so I kind of get that natural little slit down there. That is looking good there. So let's go through and see whether or not we did get anything out of that pull through. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's start off down this end first. And here is the inside. So unfortunately, I don't have the snowflake shape I was looking for. But when you actually look at that very closely, you can see where the outline of that shaper actually is. That dark blue has definitely, in fact, I don't even know which of those two was the dark blue. One of these two whites, one was the champagne, one was dark blue. Really funny thing is I have used that Ocean Sparkle in soap before, but I think I've actually mixed it with another blue and I really want wanted that sparkle. I think it actually is 
just as I'm flipping it around in the light here, this sort of creamy color, it actually does shimmer. So I'm thinking that is probably that ocean sparkle color. And then this creamy color in here is that champagne. And that's actually a really pretty color. So I probably will get a bigger pot of that one. That side there, you can see a little bit more of where that shaper went through. So I actually do like that side. It kind of gives it that um, real snowflakey sort of look, maybe looking through a window and you can see the snowflakes forming so unfortunately I think it is a lot to do with the fact that this batter was way too thick and it just didn't get that shape come through oh but I do like that one you can start to see how that shaper could have actually come through all of these layers and that one's not too bad again I've got absolutely none of that dark blue but I will. I actually, I am really liking that that, it's almost like it's ghosted in there. It's put a watermark imprint of that design through there. So it's really not as bad as I'm, I originally was thinking. At least I don't have a hole through the middle. So that's something. What I am going to do is grab one from down this end to see. I don't, I think this may have been the end where the shaper actually started because you can see a lot more of that sort of imprint there oh I really actually do like that side as well so I think some of these bars are going to be really really pretty and you really will get that sort of snowflake look there is the little snowflakes on the top that's the other side and then I think a couple of the others will probably be a little bit more use your imagination and imagine this little snowflake in there but actually I really like that side because snowflakes are generally white and then you get to see all the sort of outlines so I think it kind of has worked I will give it another go with that shaper and use a fragrance oil that doesn't move so quick and then we can see what that one really does look like but for now that is going to be my spark oh sparkling snowflake <laughs> that is really good I like how that one has come together and as I said it just it more looks like it's put a watermark on the soap almost like there's a ghost swirl in there or something I don't know what but it certainly has a very cool effect on there and you can see where the blue has dragged up into these sort of white patches there so very very pleased with how that one has actually come up considering it's not exactly how I wanted it but oh, I I am really starting to to love this one. Just getting to see those little bits poking through, and I do like the tops as well with all that little sparkling snowflake. It is going to give people an idea of what this soap is all about. The fragrance oil smells absolutely amazing. The peppermint that's in it is nice and clean and fresh, and I think peppermint for us in here in Australia for Christmas is actually a really nice smell because it's always such a cooling smell, and our Christmas days are always super hot. So I think this one will be a really nice one. As I said, this one is growing on me. The more I keep revealing them and seeing that sort of outline, I'm kind of almost thinking as this is coming out to the air, it's almost like those markings are becoming more prominent. Yeah, I think as, as they are actually coming out here, so that'll be very interesting. Follow along with me over on Instagram and when these are actually ready to um, go up on the website, I will be taking more photos. So I'll be very, very interested to see if that sort of pattern becomes more prominent as these um, do cure. Because it, it is almost like it's done a ghost swirl through this soap rather than a, um, a pull through technique. It's really very interesting. But I hope you have enjoyed watching Oh, <laughs> how I made my snowflake. Um, so if you did why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below and until the next video comes out I hope you have a great one and I will see you then bye